So in that study, so because um, um, I was, you know, I was really curious about because we do know, um, for example, some of the patients that um, not under you know, or non-compliant some some treatments. But at the same time, but maybe patients, you know, early on they declined, you know, recommended treatment by the providers. So that's why sort of my sort of um, ideas came up and and. And uh, so we're using, you know, uh, the National Cancer Database. So we defined that, you know, um, but in our studies, so we look at four different, you know, um, um, treatment modalities. So we're looking at chemotherapy, but we do see, you know, about 10%, it was a one in 10 pa uh, patients declined, you know, the therapy that offered, you know, uh, by the provider. And in uh, hormonal therapy, so we define about 5%. And then radio radiotherapy also patients about 6%, um, decline in the radiation therapy. And in terms of surgery, I was a little sort of surprised because less, about less than 1%. However, you know, given, you know, more than, you know, f um, 400, you know, thousand, you know, for example, patients, then, then that adds up, you know, a lot of patients. Uh, if they if it decided to forego treatment recommendation by the providers, that could be, could, that could have a subsequent, you know, serious you know, um, uh, risks, you know, also, um, um, harm for um, their um, health outcomes and survival in general.